Williams, it is so nice to meet you, nice and you. good luck at the event. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you guys. All right, Julie hanging out with Strong Side's girlfriend. <laughs> she finds friends wherever she goes. Girl talk. Love at first sight, man. <laughs> That's what it is. Back to the games. VS looked incredible during that one. Rely on me, reliable, whatever you want to call him. He is definitely a player to watch throughout the rest of this season. And Swift Kill coming up clutch with that overkill to seal the deal in game three. VS now up two to one over Warriors. Can Warriors stay in it or will they fall to another upset here on the main stage? We're headed to capture the flag on Zealot. All right, guys, so here we go. BS showing some heart in game number three. Shockwave, all four of the BS guys were taking turns owning, but who are you most impressed with? Right now, it's got to be reliable. The kid has been going mad positive in every single game so far, and he's really just kind of been the anchor for this Victoria's Secret squad. Every time they seem to all die or go down, it's reliable making the play to kind of get him back into the game. Fantastic pickup by VS. He is definitely performing here on the main stage, not showing any nerves. I'm really impressed with him. It's my first time watching him. But so far here in game number four, it looks like Warriors got off to kind of a decent start, but now we're seeing Reliable once again controlling the sniper rifle here for VS. And he's in a good position. He knew there was a guy flanking behind him, so he's going to come back to his base. Even though he's taken down, he did the right thing. you got to get the guy out behind your base if you want to get control of the map. Perfect use of the evade by strong side. Dodges grenade, watches the opponent die. Now he's running flags and no scoping, kids. Strong side heating up. We call them the heart attack kids. It just seems like they like to put themselves in an underdog position, but that's when they really perform. They were down 2-0 last game, and I thought they were going to win it all. Yeah, that's, that's what you get when you get veteran teams, especially players like Strong Side and Elon Mike. They're never going to panic during these games, and that's got to be their greatest strength, the ability to kind of mentally stay in the game regardless of what's happening. But in order to win the uh, tournament this season, I think they're going to have to find a new sense of urgency. You can't be putting yourself down in bad positions like this. And so far, haven't been too impressed by Warriors in the first two minutes here. No, and the player I'm going to be looking most at is Elamite Warrior so far. He's really had trouble just kind of finding himself during these games. It seems he's been going negative. It's not because he's been playing bad. It just seems that he's not in the exact good positions that we've normally seen him push, uh, place himself in. That's a pretty fearless play there, charging two players at top of the lift. He's going to be taken down. It looks like that is going to be two down for Warriors, two down for BS. And we got Calm and Reliable pushing now as Reliable picks up another sniper. Eomite has a sniper of his own sitting underneath the base, looking top goal. That was a crack shot, getting in a better position now as he moves up top spiral. This is a good thing for Eomite. If he can just start getting control and starting to, starting to find himself, like you were saying, Chris, this team can really use his momentum right now. The only one alive at the top of the lifts gets the call out from strong side. Look at my screen. Eomite leading with the grenades, now pushing in with the sniper rifle. And there he's going to make a no-scope count, but I don't like his positioning so far. He's been playing defensively, and he's pushing up by himself. Yeah, and unfortunately, he grenaded his teammate right there. Otherwise, it would have been a two-on-one. He did make up for it with the no-scope on watch, but mistakes like that can cost you games in the end. Still early in the game. We're in the opening three minutes. Neither team able to establish real map dominance up to this point. Eomite doing a nice job using the sniper rifle, or at least staying alive with the sniper rifle. He's hit a few key shots, but he hasn't really taken over yet. Let's see if he can get in a better position as his teammates are trying to push up ahead of him. And Victoria's Secret right now is just being caught on the bottom of the map, and that's going to come back to haunt them. They have to get up high. Gold control is a must. If you can't get gold, you got to go through grenade launcher and get a flank. You can't be fighting from ring one. You'll always lose. Warriors got the flag all the way to top gold. Let's see if they're able to convert this one. Robbie B, the last one alive. He's going to have to back down. Reliable is just too much. Cleaning up the injured watch, or with the help of watch for the double kill. Well, it's amazing to me that Warriors did not guard their own landing as they were running the flag back there. Strong side was basically left to die by his teammates trying to run that flag, and that's why it didn't work out for him. 
gonna have to chug some more NOS, guys. I'm getting tired here on the main stage, and we still got our community match after this one. But right now, you're watching as Warriors trying to tie up the series 2-2 two to, two to force yet another Game 5 here. But I am really impressed by the way Swift Kill is playing right now. He's bottom middle, and he's coming up behind yet another player. Just got an assassination just a few seconds ago. He's going to get hit by a grenade before he's able to finish off the kill on Eomite Warrior. And the blue flag is still out. But Reliable doing a nice job tossing out the Warriors flag to make sure they can't pass. And right now, he's just being a distraction. I think he hit Eomite with that. Actually, no, he did not. He did not hit anyone with the grenade launcher, so someone needs to pick it up because they're going to cap. Robbie B is putting it in, and there we go. Warriors is the first one on the board, and I like this aggressive play we're seeing now. Warriors knows they have to be the first team on the scoreboard. Otherwise, they might find themselves down like they did last game. Yeah, and I love the play by Illinois Warrior. He sprinted in knowing that flag was about to return. He saw that it was in a great position. They still get a chance to cap, and he just touched it. It's all they needed to keep that flag alive, and it ended up as a flag cap for Warriors. What small plays like that add up. It's not always about the numbers, people. You got Robbie V trying to play defense. He's the only one back at his base. Everyone else was going through the main ramp side, and now Calm, after picking up that kill, is going to help VS lock down the top, and they're running the flag that way. And a good job by Reliable to wait because he has the sniper and regain the shields. He knows that he's going to be the one who can help secure this flag cap. Reliable doing a great job hitting the player who lifted up with the grenade. He's going to be cleaned up. Calm to still staying alive, protecting that flag with no shield. Tried to drop the flag down bottom middle, but he's going to be cleaned up by Snakebite, who gets the double kill. The amazing thing so far, strong side has been the one pulling the flags for this Warrior squad. This is going to be the fourth or fifth pull in a row that he's had. Swift kill gets in the base, stopping strong side, but his teammate once again is there. Was it Robbie B? Yes, it was. Robbie B has two of the flags, cleaning up the flags that strong side is starting. Great teamwork out of these two. They seem to be working as a duo. Yeah, for sure. And I'm loving the play. One thing I've noticed about Strong Side is his DMR is starting to really heat up. He is not losing individual fights right now. Looking around at all eight screens, you got Robbie B and Eomite Warrior both with sniper rifles over on the blue team. Everyone is down low. They're trying to get up top and they're going main ramp side. Meanwhile, Warriors is taking advantage of the situation and they are pushing another flag here. Top goal, this would be three in a row. And Robbie B is going to get away with this. So they're going to get a flag cap and Robbie B is going to be behind this team's base. This is absolutely huge for the Warriors squad. The Warriors flag is out bottom middle, so that's got to return first before they can score. Does not look like it's going to be a problem here as they're putting the flag close. Who's got it? Where's it oh, at, guys? A complete 180 right now. Warriors flag is actually at the Victoria's Secret landing, whereas Victoria's Secret looks to be about to return their own flag. I thought they were set up perfectly for that third cap, and it looks like BS able to switch it out on them, and now Watch has the Warriors flag all the way back to their base. BS could be putting their first flag in. Remember, we're going to five flags here on Zealot Capture the Flag. The flags, both of them out now as you see that blue flag lift up to the red landing. Swiftkill has his flag waiting to score at his base. What's going on over there with the red team, Chris? It's an incredible standoff right here. I think that uh, Warriors believe that they had the flag cap as well. The rest of their players just kind of left them alone. And all of a sudden, right now, we're seeing a flag stalemate. Swift kill keeping that flag alive. Back at home, Snakebite rallying his flag. He's taking all kinds of damage, though, from grenades coming in. Trying to grab the health pack, but his teammates stole it from him. Now he's going to be vulnerable to one grenade. And the thing I like about this player right now is the people with the flags are actually putting in the most long-range shots because they can sit at their flag crouched, and the bloom will not affect them. This may be the longest flag standoff we have seen here in CTF Zealot. Yeah, this is pretty rare to see the two of the teams just holding each other's flags at their bases. But they've got to be careful. The, the place where they're holding the flags, there's so many different ways for the opposing team to come from behind, maybe sneak up and get a kill. Really impressive. But on another note, there's also so many escape routes, but it looks like Rick Warriors is going to be able to... I'm, I'm so lost it's in track. It's not going to happen, man. <laughs> Swiftkill was taken out by Robbie B. Calm was touching the flag for a bit, but he was taken down. Snakebite now tossing off to his teammate. Reliable trying to keep the flag alive, fending off strong side all by himself near top of the lift. So impressed by this kid continuing to dominate here in game number four of the best of five series. 
He's taking all kinds of fire, though. Can he stay alive long enough to defend this one and keep the flag alive? Wow. Beating down Elamite Warrior. They get the reset, and Reliable is going to score it here on the main stage. So now, after that huge standoff, BS is just down one flag. Warriors leads 2-1. to one. And that is a huge momentum swing for this Victoria's Secret squad. I wouldn't be surprised if they put another one on the board within the next two minutes. Nice shots continuing to be fired from Reliable. He's positioned top middle. The rest of his team going to run this flag over towards the landing side. Reliable trying to come on a flank. Looking down low. Didn't see any players. Gets the call out that they're up top. Comes in right behind Swift Kill and watch. And he's going to continue to push this one in here. Calm trying to clear the way for him. Great play here by the Warrior squad. They're going to be able to stop this flag cap right here. Elamite Warrior, I know I called him out in the beginning of this match, but he's definitely seen to step it up this game. He knows how important this is for his team. About a half second away from finishing that flag return, but instead he's taken out and Swiftkill's able, able to bring it back to his base and Swiftkill puts it in. So now it is all tied up two to two after that huge stalemate. BS has had total control. A small bit of a, I don't know, awesomeness out of, <laughs> out of Warriors. I'm getting tired. Small bit of ridiculousness out of Warriors, I'd say, but oh. BS is just overpowering them right now. It, it looks like Warriors is getting overconfident and screwing up easy kills. Elamite Warrior right there had a guaranteed kill, and Calm just blew Robbie, Bre oh. Robbie B's brains across the map and picks up another kill. They're going to get this third cap. Oh, and he wasn't able to get that flag through the lift. If he was, it looked like they were set up for another cap. You saw Allen there was protecting the base. Watch is now going to push from top gold. Swift kill watching the landings here. Meanwhile, Reliable pushing top middle, and Calm is just playing defense. Yeah, we've seen some crazy clutch flag returns from both teams. The other team being almost right on getting the touch. But this, these two teams are playing incredible defense. This is going to be a dogfight all the way to the 15-minute mark. Four minutes left in regulation time. Remember, if the flags are tied, we will continue in the sudden death. Warriors needing this game to stay alive. If not, BS will win this series and have a huge advantage in their pool. Calm getting chased out of the Warriors' base. He's staying alive, though. Meanwhile, it looks like Strongside is going to be pulling the BS flag, the bottom middle. He's going to be cleaned up. Robbie B trying to rally it now up the red lift. And great toss by Robbie B. Multitasking, tossing the flag, staying alive, sprinting away, and getting up top gold. Impressive escape routes. Meanwhile, his teammate Snakebite was able to get it all the way back to his base, and Strongside clutches it to put in the flag right in front of Swift Kill. Great job, and they caught Watch just chasing bottom middle. They were able to take out two members, Reliable and Watch, and they were guaranteed that flag cap after that. And it was all started by that incredible play by Robbie B being that distraction and getting the flag to his teammates and letting them put it in. And Strongside once again showing that he is Mr. Clutch, putting it in, giving Warriors the lead. Sides DMR is out of control this game. I've been literally stuck on his screen as he keeps picking up some of the most ridiculous kills I've seen in Halo Reach. Swift kills running the flag, Calm trying to clear the way, doing some spawn killing there, putting shots on Robbie B, jumping the top middle to help get a better angle on players coming up the spiral. Swift using the grenade launcher, DMR clean up, and they're gonna put in flag number three. Both teams just trading blows here on the main stage. And it looks like Victoria's Secret's in the dominant position. You have Watch with the sniper on the Warriors landing. He gets the body shot. He's gonna be pulling this flag. They're running a the grenade launcher. I think they're gonna get this final cap, Chris, that, or the fourth cap. That was three down, strong side. The last one alive was under his base. That means his teammates are most likely gonna spawn there as well. If they can clear out Robbie B, they have a great chance to put this one in. Here comes Watch and he gets it in. VS taking the lead now. Yeah, great setup by VS. They knew that the only spawn that they had to worry about was the landing spawn. As soon as Robbie B popped up, all of VS was already looking, looking at him. Reliable and Calm back in the Warriors' base. They continue to put on pressure. Calm trying to run it big ramp. That's not going to work. Reliable's taking down. Swift kill taking heavy fire. And now Watch finally getting up to the landing to provide some cover fire with this sniper rifle. But just when I thought VS was in position to put in a fifth flag, we have Warriors coming in with a flag of their own. And Robbie B is going to get the return here and put this one in. And Robbie B scores it, so it's all tied up, four to four. What an incredible, evenly matched series we have right here on the main stage between Warriors and VS. Have to give the utmost respect for Victoria's Secret. I never thought they would have stayed in this match the way they are. 
I mean, both teams have been absolutely ridiculous. I don't think any team has had an advantage of more than one flag yet this game. Each team playing exceptionally well. Reliable and Calm once again working as a duo, pushing into the base. Calm's going to go down, but Reliable is going to pull the flag, scaring the Warriors squad. But remember, last time they were in this position, Warriors came on a counter cap, running it through the main ramp. Let's see how they're setting up now as they have Strong Side trying to stay alive top middle, but he's going to get called out and basically just dominating from all angles. And the flag is out once again. Elmite Warrior this time is running it bottom middle. He's got fire coming from all directions. He's able to stay alive and get the flag up to lift. Strong side's there to catch it, and he's bringing it in. Warrior's going to do it. We're going to game five. I don't even know what to say here, guys. Warriors, why do they do this to me? So nervous that game for the Warriors squad, but in the end, they pull it out once again. This time, Christy called him out at the start of the game. Since then, Elamite really just took over 28 and 18, plus 10 for him. On the other side, reliable and calm, dropping lots of kills, but it wasn't enough as Warriors come up clutch in the final moments again on the main stage. They should just switch their name to Game 5. Forget Warriors, just call themselves Game 5, that's it. Yeah, that game was pretty intense. I mean, both teams just swinging blows at each other the entire game. Cat, each team getting, you know, a cap for each of the other ones, counter caps. That game had it all. One of the best series we've seen here on the main stage between two very evenly matched teams. Guys, it's all tied up 2-2. Two to two. When we come back, we'll have a final Game 5 on Team Slayer Element. Welcome back to MLG Columbus on the main stage. We got Warriors taking on Victoria's Secret. And once again, Warriors taking us to game five. And Scott, you just got an update from our amateur floor. Yeah, it looks like Carbon is absolutely destroying through the amateur bracket. Your prediction's right. I hope Impulse is doing good. I haven't heard anything. If you guys are on Twitter and you know anything, hit me up on Twitter, MLG underscore Gandhi. And I want to hear about Ambush. How's Walshy doing? Because it looks like Ghost Ayami's faring pretty well. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear the old Carbon's getting back into the pro, pro bracket. Is what I want to say. Shout out to you, MLG Game Over. Love you, buddy. All right, guys, it is time for the final game. Team Slayer on Element, one of the fastest TSs. I'm pumped for this one. Who's going to win it? We're about to find out. So here we go. It looks like we are starting off with Warriors and Robbie B. 
and just a little bit of Columbus history. So far, we've had three matches on the main stage. We are now in match number four, and our first two both went to game five with the higher ranked team getting off to a strong lead, but then the lower seeded team coming back and taking it all. And right now, we have Warriors off to another great start as Robbie B's gonna get that camo, and they're gonna get the first group of kills. And it looks like the Curry Seeker didn't even bother going for camo. Camo is, I think, more important than the grenade launcher. Yeah, in my mind, I think Camo on this map is definitely the best thing. But who knows? They, they might have had a different strategy. They practiced. Maybe they've noticed <laughs> it. Accidental <laughs> stick. <laughs> Robbie B clutching it with stickies with the Camo. That's awesome. Accidental awesomeness is awesome. Robbie B making his way back to top middle, and it looks like you have all, all blue diaper. That one's for you, genius. We got Robbie B with the grenade launcher now. He had Camo. Now rocking the power weapons. What a start, genius. Happy birthday, way to pick the right player. I'm interested to see if this Victoria's Secret young squad can handle this game five pressure on the main stage. If they do, I will be extremely impressed. But if not, I can't hold anything against them. Well, we've seen younger teams come back before. This game element, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna pertain to the team that's got the most individual shot skill. And when it comes to call outs, it seems Victoria's Secret's just on par with Warriors. Strong side putting heavy shots, working with Eomite Warrior really well. Meanwhile, you are watching Robbie B trying to react to those call outs, throwing some long range grenades. Now he's pushing up, helping out, and you see all four members of Warriors were on the same half of the map there. That's a, that's a really good strap, but you're not going to see a lot of teams do it because the spawn system in this one is really crazy. You never know where the teams are going to spawn. Robbie working after Reliable, pushing in. He's going to clean up the headshot. 15, that's 13, though. BS with the lead here. And Swiftkill has that grenade launcher. Perfect shot from him to take down Robbie B. Let's go to Watcher Swift when we get a chance. Watch now has a G grenade launcher of his own. It was amazing. The grenade launcher managed to stay on the map all the way until the new grenade launcher spawns, where the old grenade launcher was used to kill the guy picking up the new one. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Watch putting heavy shots on Eomite Warrior. You got Swift Kill pushing from top middle and Reliable trying to come from bottom middle on a flank. But notice how Watch right there, although we made that guy one shot, he knew there was another one shield vote. Even though he didn't get the kill, he was looking for him. That's great positioning. You always want to cover as much ground as possible. And a large thing with these guys is going to be, even though they're hiding and there'll be one shots, the key is to hide from the guys who you're, you can definitely get shot from and try to help your teammates around the mat. Just because you're a one shot doesn't mean you can't help out your team. Guys, I've been watching nothing but BS so far in this game, and I have to say they're playing all like mini pistolas. Watch how they're hugging the walls, making sure they take minimum amount of damage while putting out as much damage as possible. And that's always going to be the key. Like you said, hugging walls, they're going to make sure they're going to limit the angles that they can actually get shot up. And you're always going to be seeing them looking around the map, trying to inflict as much damage as possible to anyone they see. It's, it's a great way to play the game. We're back on board with Swift Kill as he picks up the double, oh, the oh. triple. He's looking for the over. Where are you? He doesn't want it. Could not find Snake Bite. Finally, he's going to get that fourth kill. He just killed all four members of Warriors and before being taken out top middle. Let's go to Calm when we get a chance. He and Watch are pushing in together perfectly, and Calm is gonna pick up another big headshot before being cleaned up here by the Warrior Squad. 32 to 28. It's now a four kill lead for Victoria's Secret. I think Swift Kill is trying to show off for you, Chris. I think you boosted his ego before the match. I've known the kid was good since the first time we saw him land back in March, Scott. This guy will be a big name throughout the whole season. In fact, watch Calm Reliable. I think these are all new guys that you're going to see throughout the season. Calm trying to finish off the kill on Elamite Warrior. You see Allen, that's Reliable, pushing in to try and clean up kills. They're going for that grenade launcher once again. Reliable taken down, and now you can see BS swarm for that power weapon. And it looks like Calm decided to lead the grenade launcher to chase down a kill as you got Rai Rai. That's Watch pushing in as well. This Warrior Squad is being caught off guard right now. It looks like they're just not shooting at people around the map. It, right there, I watched Strongside chase a kill for about 10 seconds, unable to actually finish anything off. Eel my Warrior has the camo, though. You got Calm going for that grenade launcher. He saw the camo just for a second. Smart move by Elamite to dip out, but it's now 41 to 39 as we see Warriors make a late game push once again. 
42 to 40. This one coming down to the wire in game five. What an incredible series we have here on our main stage. 17 kills out of Swift Kill so far, and they're only up by two. Eel might wear trying his best to stay alive and do damage here from the blue base. Looking over at Yo, he saw two players, and now he's gonna push in after Calm. And Eel Might Warrior really just looking like an anchor here, Scott. Yeah, and he's doing a good job because he just wants to lay down the fire, and that's exactly what their team needs, especially with this wire. It's a two-kill game right now. They need every life to be as valuable as possible. Reliable picks up another kill, now pushing in the base, drops two shields for Calm. Eel Might Warrior is going to be cleaned up as well. 48 to 46, two kills away. It's Victoria's Secret from upsetting Warriors on our main stage. Watch pushing in one on one against Strong Side. Drops the shield, staying alive. Swift Kill getting flanked 49 to 47. They're looking for the final kill, and Calm is going to get it. Victorious Secret continuing the upsets here, and Columbus, Ohio taking down top seeded Warriors and Pool D. Guys, that was an epic series going back and forth, not only in games, but during individual games. How impressed are you with this VS squad? It's incredible what they've been able to do. I mean, these guys, labeled as Combine kids, but it, like we've said, they're veterans. Now they've gone through, this is their second real tournament, and going into serious game fives, you know, they, you got to have some poise. you got to have a good mentality to be able to pull out a game five, especially against players like Strong Side and Elamite. All right, so there you see the final score, guys. Victoria's Secret 3, Warriors 2. VS pulls it out. It's just mind-blowing at this point. You can't predict anything anymore. <laughs> Everything's not set in stone. Stats mean nothing. I'm just going to pick every team who's lower seeded than fifth. I mean, three series tonight, the three higher seeded teams, all losing in game five to a lower seeded team. I mean, we've had just some really exciting matches here on the main stage. Well, I just flipped my paper. That means it's time for series number five. Victoria's Secret, led by Swift Kill throughout that whole series, is going to move on here to beat Warriors. But coming up next, guys, we have Dynasty back on the main stage. It's your community votes that got them here. They'll be taking on 16-seated Capital Punishment. <laughs> 